Good evening. Welcome to the UEFA Cup first round. It's Apple Beersheba against Football Club Barcelona in what is Barca's first ever game in Israel. Israel, of course, joining UEFA in 1994. And now, according to the governors of European football, part of Europe, not something I had noticed when I was playing Risk. A very young Barca team this afternoon, or should I say this evening, under the tutelage of Johan Cruyff. The debut for Johan Cruyff as well, his first UEFA Cup match as manager of Football Club Barcelona. The UEFA Cup, not exactly Barca's favourite competition. A competition they've never won. Two semi-finals. 75-76, which they lost out to Liverpool in. in the following year, a semi-final defeat by the Lions of Athletic Club Bilbao. Baquero, the captain for Football Club Barcelona. They see him alongside the referee... Theodoros Kefalas of Greece. Jordi Cruyff, the manager's son, one of many players in a European debut. Jose Maria Baquero, of course, plenty of European experience over recent years. One of the dream team that won the European Cup in 1992. Lining up for the home team in goal, Smadja, Vasnin, Ali Melic, Teles Nenko, Iluth, Jazuth, Piton, Zibelinch, Apitan, Sagron, and Abidor for Barcelona, Busquets, Terlades, Nadal, Carreras, Popescu, Vaquero, Figo, De La Peña, Codro, Roger and Jordi. There on your screen you see the substitutes zooming away there. For Barcelona, the reserve goalkeeper Angoy, Ferrer, Oscar Garcia, Moreno and Abelardo, the substitutes. For the home team, the substitutes Encari, David, Elenaua, Reef and Peretz. And there you have the starting 11 for the home team, followed by the Substitute Johan Cruyff looking very relaxed there on the bench, very tanned as the referee is about to get us underway. The stadium, the Arthur Wassermiel Stadium, holds 12,000, pretty much packed out today. And you'll see plenty of police and armed guards around because the Israeli Prime Minister is also in the crowd. Boss are expected to win. Let's see if they can do it. Just two games into the league season and uh, coming into this game on the back of a disappointing draw with Merida. And a lot of changes from Saturday's lineup. Barca defend the goal to our left. Sagra on there. Just plays the ball inside and uh, half hearted claim there from Sagra, but an early. Half shot on goal, the whistle had gone. So play will resume with a free kick to Football Club Barcelona. A rather dramatic fall to the ground there from Sagron. Israeli fans indeed not expecting to beat Barcelona. A draw would be, well, a historic result for them. It's their second participation in Europe. Last season, they were knocked out in the first preliminary round. And this year, in the preliminary or qualifying round, they knocked out KS Tirana. So their first appearance in the proper, if you like, rounds of European competition. 
Paquero. It's in Luis Figo. Barca moving the ball around with Popescu. The ball now with Miguel Ankel Nadal. Delades, not just making his debut in Europe, making his debut in the first team of Barcelona in official competition as Cruyff loses out. Cruyff looking to win the ball back and a free kick given against Jordi Cruyff. I think that was a little bit harsh. So does Jordi. Tony Bruins alongside this man, Johan Cruyff. Cruyff very much wanting to do well in this competition. The competition, as we said earlier, the Barcelona have never won. The Lardes pushing it forward, looking for Figo on the far side, cut out by Eluth. Oh, and the goalkeeper's made a bit of a hash on that, and ball returned to him by Roger Garcia. Three minutes gone. The ball with Eluth, the Israeli international, beat on. Another Israeli international pushes it on, and there's a run down this near touchline by Sagaron, he can't make anything of this, but a couple of moves so far by the Israelis, as Roger brings it away for Barca. Towards the, oh, and there's a free kick, surely, for the challenge by Eluth. Just ran into the back of Codro. Van de la Peña scored in his debut two weeks ago and the 2-0 win over Valladolid he's very keen to take this I'm sure you'll have to argue though because Popescu <laughs> we can see what happened there Popescu is using his seniority said I'm having this one but uh, Ivan de la Peña has just picked up the ball, decided where he wants to place it. Codro and Baquero also over the ball. There's a lot of talk about this lad, Ivan de la Peña. Even the Apple manager was looking forward to seeing the boy from Santander. Ivan de la Peña, oh, he's in the net, and de la Peña, four minutes gone has put Barca 1-0 up, but what a wonder strike it was. Well, maybe the Apple manager not so happy to see him on the pitch now. Really giving no chance to smudge the young Israeli goalkeeper. Let's have another look. Scrumped it in, but with force as well. Really, the ball was coming out by the time the Apple goalkeeper was alerted to the danger. So Barca 1-0 up after four minutes. All the heads go down of Apple Bear Sheva. Having door out to the number seven beat on. And settle for the corner there off to Lades. Good angle here to see Ivan de la Peña curling it in and uh, well, just the perfect free kick. De la Peña, one of several players who've come through the Barca youth system. First corner, the apple. Apple, if uh, you didn't know, is the Hebrew word for the worker. Very common name in Israeli football. Second corner, cleared again. La Peña brings it down, just flicks it ahead. Codro with the one two to La Peña again. I think Codro leaving it for Jordi, all intercepting. It's now with 
Chazuth. Zeeba Lynch. And uh, too much in that one for Habitan to get there. Offside anyway against the Israeli forward. Also's first goal in Israel. Cruyff very much into the idea of uh, settling this in the first leg. Here we see the home manager, Vico Haddad. Nadal with the header, picked up in midfield by Codro almost. Looking to get on the end of the Vigo header. Field upfield by Smadja. Nadal. Oh, and Nadal robbed of the ball. Cleared up by the Lades. If so given. Happel moving upfield. Robbed of the ball in midfield. There it is with Baquero. Baquero back to Nadal. Also pushing forward. Roger with the shot blocked. Luis Figo. Figo flicks it in. Codro into the hands of Smadja. The ex Real Sofia that forward didn't really get any power on this header. Delightful cross from Luis Figo. And Codro with a free header. Be done. Needs to see it out. Does do so, and it'll be Apple Bear Sheva's ball. Shimon Biton. Zeeba Lynch combining. Fela Pena picks up tidy ball back to the largest under pressure. Bossa playing their way out with Popescu Nadal. Nadal gives the ball away though. Offside and uh, not too sure about that one. The Ball would come out to the near side rather than down the centre. Weak linesman made his mind up though. Free kick to FCB. Pesco just been told to push it back, does do so, and it'll be Nadal with the free kick. Roger brings in Figo. Figo switching play to the near side, looking for Jordi. Can Jordi get there? He does, but he won't be able to keep it in. It'll be a goal kick in favour of the home team. Jordi, Roger, Busquets, Delandis, Carreras, De La Pena. Six of the players on the pitch have come through the Masia. The Masia, of course, being the residential home next to the camp now, where uh, all the young Barca players. Sleep, eat, talk, and play football. Nadal from Mallorca pushing it back to Carlos Busquets. Just flicked on there, good flick on, but a free kick given in favour of the Israelis. on the far side once again with the offside decision against Happel Beersheva. Again, not looking at Barca to lose over two legs today. Hold on a minute, Luis Figo. Codro couldn't get there. Beaten to the ball by Eluth. Be a corner. Barca's first of the game. And Roger to take. Swinging in with the left foot. 
towards the far post, but into the hands of Smanja. Poor clearance again from the home goalkeeper, and he'll get a second chance, though. The ball returned to him. Not too much power in that shot from Luis Figo. Be done on the near side. Looks for the 1 2. 11 minutes, 12 minutes gone, and Barca leading 1 0. Eli Milic nicely taken out by Roger. Eli Milic plays it forward. Oh, he did well there, lost the ball, recovered. That's Telesnenko, the Ukrainian international, pumping the ball in and. Uh, Safe enough header from Habitan. Jordi. Jordi looking to get around. It does indeed get round one. Just surely brought down there the referee in agreement. And it'll be a free kick to Football Club Barcelona. De La Peña and Luis Figo, two real danger men. De La Peña leaving it to Figo and Pescu couldn't get on the end of it. Picked up by De La Peña, combining with Paquero. De La Peña plays into the day. Oh, Jordi almost taken out. Codro awaits in the middle, but the offside flag had already gone up and it'll be Apple Bear Sheva's ball. Ego with the free kick, and it was Popescu who just couldn't connect with it. Okero. Van de la Peña. Tempting ball there for Codro, and if he had gone for it, he might have got there. Telesninko misjudged it as well, and the ball ran through to the goalkeeper, Smadja. saying earlier about Barca's record in UEFA. Not from being knocked out, as I said earlier, by Liverpool and Athletic Club Bilbao, but defeat City you could understand they so went up to Dundee United in the 86-87 season. Not exactly one of the European giants. It's Jordi plays it inside to De La Peña. The ball played forward. Roger! And it's blocked by Smadger. Barca really in control here. A bit of a practice game almost. The lad is Jordi. Still Jordi. Lovely cross in. Ball cleared. He'll be picked up by the Apple midfield. De La Peña looking to play Roger through. Picked up by the defence. There's a surprise result for you. Rutter, Volgograd, holding Manchester United. Spain also have Betis in the UEFA competition this evening. So far, the score in the Vassamil Stadium. Apple, Bear, Sheva, nil. Barca won, there was a chance there for Codro. As Luth plays the ball forward, easily met by Nadal, Delades, Jordi, De La Peña, beaten to the ball by Zeba Lynch. Latonian international. Pedro picks up. Ivan De La Peña. Run on the far side, the ball hit did down but cleared away. 60 minutes into the game, Troy seeing his boys pretty much dominate in the possession of the ball. The ball, by the way, something the players most feared this evening because it's different from 
football used in Europe. It's Habitan. He's an inside. Apple have players forward. Javi Tours. Ball is cut out and given away. Kleber Lynch. There's too many bodies around him. De La Pena picked up but gives the ball away and it's picked up by Beaton. And a uh, handball decision against the boy from Santander. Could be a shot there, and it was indeed from Eli Milic. Easily enough blocked, and Codro brings it away for Football Club Barcelona. Codro looking to switch play. Roger brings it down. Figo. Cross comes in. Baquero dropping it off, but there was no one there to meet it. The, the offside flag once again lifted and it'll be a free kick for the home team. Barca leading 1 0 in the first round proper of the UEFA Cup. More than just a victory, they really need to win convincingly to erase memories of the weekend's draw with Merida. Well penalised. Free kick to the Israeli team. Also currently sitting second in the Spanish league but it's only two weeks old. Club Bilbao, top of the table with two out of two wins. Roger combining with Luis Figo, Canderas. The ball given away will be a throw in to Happel. Changes, as I say, from the weekend's team. No place this evening for Abelardo, Oscar, Pep, Guardiola, Amor, Sergi, Hadji and Ferrer. Hadji, of course, being the dropped foreigner with the three foreigner rule. Ferrer unable to take part because of suspension. 20 minutes gone. Barca leading 1 0. The ball picked up by De La Pena, combining with Luis Figo. De La Pena threads it through. The defence were up to it, though. They'll get a second chance. Luis Figo, Jordi, no offside against Jordi Cruyff. Looking to play the ball in. That'll go out for a second corner to the visitors. You have Oscar Garcia alongside Chapi Ferrer. Sergi, sorry, the uh, full back suspended. I suppose for there he wouldn't be sitting there, would he? I suppose played in and wide. Chance to make it two. Not taken. Also kitted out by Kappa, the Italian company. I think it's uh, one of the better kit manufacturers. Kit very similar to the traditional bars of red and blue stripes. This bars are moving forward. Pescu brings in Luis Figo. Figo looking to return the favour. Cut out by 
Talisnenko. De La Pena brings it down. Wonderful performance so far from Ivan De La Pena. Pescu. Nadal brings in Thalades. The debut boy. Out. It'll be a throw in halfway inside the Happel Bear Shevers half. To La Pena looking for Jordi and a cheeky back heel there from Beaton. Again, you can see the vision of the boy from Santander. Nadal sitting at the back there with Carreras and Thelades. Popescu just ahead of them. Vaquero, Roger, De La Pena in the midfield. Figo out on the left, Jordi on the right, and Codro down the centre for Barcelona. Figo Haddad looking to rearrange things. kick to Apple. And already warming up. A substitute number 14 riff. Not a packed out stadium. You could see some empty seats pretty much all round. Balls lifted forward, picked up in midfield by Zeba Lynch. Throw into the home team there on the far side. And it's with uh, Telesnenko. Helped on by Eli Melic. Sponsor picked up with Roger. Looking for Bequero, finds De La Peña. De La Peña threading it through. Fine pass once again. Codro, Codro lifting it into the center, looking for Jordi, but it's cleared by Iluth. 24 minutes gone over halfway through the first half. Barca only leading 1 0, but certainly dominating this trip to Israel. So does Nenko. That's Nina ahead of him. Set the ball with the winger, having door. Zeeba Lynch goes down, free kick given. Zagron. And that one run early on, and he's made another here. Can he pull it back? Oh, and Habitan skied the shot. The, probably the best chance of the game for Happel so far. That's got the fans off their seats. A draw would be, well, probably the greatest result in the club's history. Ball dragged back perfectly by Zagron, but Habitan. There didn't seem to be any bobble and bounce there. He just and keep it down. And they're not going to get that many chances, I wonder, thought. Barca on the attack, Luis Figo. Still Figo. And, uh, well, that wasn't too much better, was it? Shot high and wide. But it did take a deflection. And it'll be a corner in favour of FCB. Again, it's Roger to take. Ross's third corner of the game. The header comes in. Cleared as far as Roger once again. Towards the far side, headed into the hands of Smadger. Dal wants to come up on corners. No problems there for the 22 year old Shaul Smadger. Just 
cleared by Iluth. Figo sees it out, throw into FCB. Carreras combining with Nadal. Luis Carreras, another one of the boys from the Cantera. No, only from the Cantera, he's from the lovely little village of San Paul, just up the coast from Barcelona. Just before you get to Calea, popular holiday destination of many a British tourist. In fact, if, you, if ever you're there, you should get a chance to get off the train at San Paul. Lovely little beach, little chiringuito there if you walk through the tunnel. And uh, a little bit away from the normal. It's not uh, a tourist resort at all, more the a, a local hangout. Back to the game, Busquets with the clearance. In fact, if you get off the train anywhere between Mataró and Blanes, but don't get off in Blanes because the train goes inland. So you go all the way along the coast, you've got Arenz de Mar, Llevaneras, that's a lovely little, another lovely little village. But then if you stay on the train, plan is it's kind of inland, the station is anyway. Then you have to walk a good couple of kilometers to get to the beach. There you go. Fascinating tourist information from the Catalan Tourist Board for you. Nadal with the free kick. Sparsa look to add to that opening goal. I won't do so with free kicks like that. Peña, after four minutes, all Barcelona have to show for their domination of this game. Jordi picks up. It's time for Jose Maria Baquero, surely obstructed there. The referee Theodoros Capales agrees with many free kick for FCB. Figo combining with Roger. That's just overhead. Kozlenko clears. And, uh, promising play there, but there will be a substitution by Vico Haddad. Bringing off the well, practically unseen Vasnin. On will come the number 14 Riff. He'll have to wait though as Barca move forward. Ivan de la Pena. Again looking for the killer pass. Doesn't come off. He gets a second chance. Plays it back to the boy from San Paul. Oh, and that's an obstruction, surely. And that's a similar position from where we got the first goal. The referee just tripped over himself there. Almost took a dive. Free kick. And De La Pena again. The youngster is basically saying, well, I scored from the last one, didn't I? Luis Figo is also wanting to be involved. I don't think there's much question that uh, Telesnenko had blocked Roger. And there's the invisible sliding tackle on the referee. So, free kick in a very similar position to the fourth minute opener. Will we see a photocopy of that first goal? Figo, Codro, and De La Pena over the ball. Of course, the goalkeeper, Smadja, will be aware of La Pena's possibilities here. Looks like De La Pena, Figo, Codro, and cleared. Oh, and a second chance, skied very much high and wide. It was Luth who blocked Codro's initial shot. No save needed with the second attempt on goal.
going kick to the home team. And now we see the substitution has been made. Here's Sheva. It's not a village, 140,000 people. Live in the town itself. Hold on a minute, Figo. Cotra was waiting, just cleared by Eluth. Israeli number five, who's been the mainstay of their defense so far. Limiting Barca to just the one goal. The same Beersheva just to the south, and down a bit from Gaza. Let's play forward, that'll run out safely. Turned a free kick to Apple. Oh, generosity abounds. We've just introduced, involved here, Habitan. Oh, and that wasn't so bad an effort. Best effort of the game so far from Abidor. As Riff's run has started it. Abitan setting up the number 11, Abidor. Certainly, Hapo Beershev has the their best effort of the game so far. Just swinging away. Nadal on the ball for Barca. As Canelas outside him, plays it straight through to Jordi. Jordi inside, just over 10 minutes to go in the first half in the Vasemil Stadium. Barca leading 1 0 in the first round of the UEFA Cup. The UEFA Cup of Barcelona never won. One major European competition they have to put in the trophy room. Figo will have to settle for a throw in. The referee deciding has gone out of play and it'll be Apple Beer Sheva's ball. Tilisninko returns it to Every door, the ball played up the wing. Another throw into Happel. Happel, as I said earlier, the Hebrew word for worker. Said that a lot of the clubs were formed by the Labour Party or trade unions. This club founded one year after the independence of Israel in '48. Figo. Miss Figo had a lot of joy there. Stopped this time by Abigdor. The ball given away to Jordi. Jordi. Oh, it took an awkward bounce. Figo can't get there though. It's cleared by Beaton. Down the kind of sweeper between. Well, it's basically a two man defense. As I said, in action this evening, 1-0 uh, up against Fenerbahce, that's changed, one all now. It's Apple, get a long ball forward into the hands of Carlos Busquets. And there it is. 
Empty turn there from Roger. Roger. Oh, and that was a chance for the captain, Bakero. And Johan will be wondering how Barca are only 1 0 up. Roger setting it up for Bakero. Took a little bit of a bounce. And caught the Barca captain out. Real chance there for Jose Maria Baquero. The boss are 2 0 up before half time. Thelades. He's an inside Codro. Drops off with Van de la Peña. Baquero can't control. Picked up by Apple midfield. They in turn give it away to Jordi Croy. Carreras. Roger. You could see the intention there. Picked up though by Telesnenko. Eli Melic, he loses out, picked up by Barca, Luis Figo. Figo inside, looking for Codro. He's really back four, holding out. Seven minutes to half time still. Apple Bear Sheva, nil, Barca one. And La Peña started off very brightly, scoring the goal and uh, providing us with a series of neat passes. Well, a little bit quiet on the bench for you and Cruyff reserve goalkeeper Angoy Ferrer Oscar Moreno and Abelardo Habitan plays it forward cut out by the pass of back four or back three should I say Roger now solid challenge from the Ukrainian Talisnenko Reef all cleared up field offside flag is up oh, officially boss have only enjoyed 55 percent of the possession but the comfortability level would be probably much higher than that oh there's one for eluf to chase which gets had to be aware it's left a bit of a gap in the defence. Can Barca exploit that? Jordi looking for Codro. And uh, Codro claiming he was impeded. The Greek referee not in agreement. It's Apple Bear Sheva now with a chance to break. This could be interesting. Reef played it against the Lades. It was well supported. That was really. A chance there, all Bertis have gone 2-1 up. Can Codro put Barca 2 up? Instead, it comes off. The legs of the goalkeeper and Shalomo Iluf clears up at the back. Iluf just questioning. And throws a mental state there. Beaton switching play to the far side. Goes out for a throw into FCB. Into the last five minutes in Israel, Barca leading 1 0. Pescu, Pelades. Neres lifts it forward to La Pena. Oh, and that was a good chance there for Baquero. And it was the pass from Ivan de la Peña that set up the Barca captain. Smanjo was up to it, though. The ball not lifted quite high enough. Barca still looking for that second goal. Only Malech receives in midfield. Telesnenko. Ruf won't get there. And Dal does. Jordi. Still Jordi. Still Jordi. Oh, and he couldn't get around. Ali Melech. Apple. Ball forward. Stopped by Albert Thelades. Vaquero. Figo. Vaquero. 
La Pena. Carreras. This is Roger. Jordi plays the one two, doesn't come off. And will come off instead. Carreras for a throw in to Beersheba. Beersheba also has a, another mean as we see Vaquero's chance. Two chances for him in this first half. Beersheba mean in the city of the seven wells. As you can imagine, there's a history, a story behind Beersheba. Cruyff, Geordie that is. Still Geordie and the shot, innocent enough. And Spanjo, although he's had to save, he's not really had to deal with the most difficult of goal attempts. Took a slight deflection, that one. This ball's headed on by Popescu, Cruyff, Geordie. Combining with Roger, the ball down in midfield. Carried forward, but Barca stopping any progress there. Vaquero, Popescu, Spacia for Figo. Figo puts it into the sender, but no one really there except Codro coming in late. Sagron inside for Riff switching play to the near side Zeba Lynch Riff once more already seen him have a crack at goal this one was blocked picked up by Paquero De La Pena De La Pena just flicked on and good intention there from Codro Spanger was up to it into the last minute. Barca still with just the one goal to show for the Mavasamil Stadium. Habitan, who had a great opportunity where the ball's cut back to him, skied it though. And big door. Big Don. Two number sevens battling for the ball. Back to Telesnenko. Telesnenko, well, is that a shot? As it is, Busquets just sees it out. In the capital of the seven wells of the desert, given it its longer name. 45 minutes up in the UEFA Cup first round. Barca leading 1-0. We just wait to see how much time will be added on. We've not seen the physios on the pitch. There's not really been any delays as Baquero into the hands of Smadja. Good ball through there from Ivan de la Pena. And Baquero's had three chances now in this first half. This one on target. But Smanja wisely was down waiting for it. Will Barca get another chance as the ball's brought forward by the boy from St. Paul? Just playing it forward there, Codro. Roger. Oh, ho, 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 dear me. What a wonderful strike from Roger Garcia. The boy from the Marcia strikes and Smanja. Can't really blame himself on the stroke of half time. Really well hit shot. Didn't seem to be any danger. There you go. Smudge again, the fingertip to it, but hit with a real force. Left foot into the top corner. And uh, normally you'd be talking about a psychological goal. Well, let's just say that the result was never in doubt. And that, rather than deciding the game, was just a thing of beauty. 
And Bobir Sheva moving forward into the dying seconds. And they have time to take the throw in. Oh, we've had a goal at the start of the first half after four minutes, Ivan de la Pena. And then in the injury time of the first half. Oh, wait a minute. Will Happel get one back as the ball's put into the center? Cleared. For a goal kick, though. Must have been a Happel Beer Sheva contact with the ball. Certainly Habitan, last man to touch. Busquets with what is and indeed isn't the last touch because it's half time. We'll be back with you in the second half. Welcome back to the second half in the Vasemil Stadium, Barca. Leading 2 0 thanks to goals by Ivan de la Peña after four minutes and just in the injury time of the first half, a wonderful strike from Roger. Having said that, of the two, Ivan de la Peña's free kick probably wins in the goal of the game so far, voting. Now Barca attacking the goal to our left and will get us underway once. Theodoros Kefales decides the time is right. And that time still not with us. Ali Melich ready and we're off the second half. This first round UEFA Cup tie between Happel, Beersheba, Football Club Barcelona. Betis establishing, or achieving rather, a 2 1 win in Fenerbahce, and that is a good result. Turkey always a difficult place to go to. Tilisnenko loses out, Barca pick up. Figo, and you've got the better of Beaton. He wasn't allowed to progress. Free kick in favour of Football Club Barcelona. The first yellow card of the game. Will be the Portuguese winger to take. Jordi over the crossbar, under pressure there. And unable to keep the header down. Apple manager, Vico Haddad. He's already made one substitution. Barca remaining with the starting lineup. Busquets in goal. Number two, Thaladis. Number three, Nadal, four is Carreras, five, Popescu. Number six, Paquero, seven is Figo. Eight, Ivan de la Peña. Nine, Codro, number 10, Roger Garcia, the other goal scorer. And this lad, number 11, Jordi Cruyff. Oscar Garcia there, one of the possible substitutes. The others being Ferrer. Moreno, Abalado, and Angoy. And uh, a free there. Telling Jordi to tuck his shirt in. And on the bench would have spent many years telling him likewise. Pass the tidy up in midfield. Popescu. Van de la Peña. A run there from Roger de la Peña lifts it over. Roger's in. Oh, and he's brought down, and that'll be a penalty. Roger would have been in on goal. 
There is Ivan de la Peña's incisive pass that set up this opportunity. And there's the moment. The referee spotting it. Sagrun just tugging the other number 10. Shirt and Codro be the man to possibly put Barca three up early into this second half. It's Real Sofia that forward against Smadger and oh, and it's off the inside of the post. Figo, danger not over, Papel. It is now Figo's put the ball behind. Well, it appeared that Codro had hit it well. But inches out in his calculations. It's come off the inside of the post. So, Barca still 2-0 up against Hapul Beersheva. Hapul who line up with smudging goal. Reef, Elimelec, Iluth and Jazuth in defense. Bidon, Telesnenko, Zibalinch and Abidor. Line up completed by Sagron and Habitan. Carreras plays it into Vaquero. Pescu to Luis Figo. Figo plays it in and ball met by Luz. Ball just coming off Figo, throw into Apple. Charlie Rashak alongside Johan Cruyff. Five minutes into the second half. Ali Milic on the ball for Apple. And it's Nadal who stopped him. Vaquero. Carreras combining with Ivan. All drags the ball past. Carreras still going. Little bump there. Enough to put him off. Reef combining with Zebelinch. Jazuf loses out, gets the ball given back to him. Oh, this could be a chance. This could be a chance. Oh, and it's wide by the number nine, Habitan, who's had the two best chances for the home team. A few whistles from the home crowd. Seemed to have enough time, and he really tone poked that one wide. The home fans at least would like to see their boys get a goal. It was the other forward? Oh, and that was a better effort from Sagron. Orin Sagron really. Let fly. And Sagrun on the ball. It's lost out there though. Codro sets up Figo. Figo gets the better of Telesnenko. Figo with the cross, looking for Codro. Just overhits it. Picked up on this near side by Roger. Oh, Roger was looking for Ivan de la Peña. Pescu wins the ball back for Barca. Nadal. Surprise result there. Nottingham Forest. Who's now to Malmo? Jordi. Codro. Codro. Oh, looking for Piero, but it's Reef who's got the ball. For Happel Bear Sheva. Jesus. Switching play, the ball into the centre, chance for Reef. Into the hands of Busquets and... Well, 
three chances early on in this second half, all for the Israeli team. Hands lifted by these opening eight minutes. Cruyff can't get on the end of De La Pena's ball, of course. Also cheered by Codro's penalty miss. And Johan Cruyff decided quite enough going on but tonight was always going to be a chance to move the bench Jordi Cruyff one of the players substituted the other one Vaquero and on will come number 16 Moreno another player coming on Oscar Garcia Brother, of course, of Roger, scorer of the Thunderbolt. Moreno with an early chance to impress. Lifts into midfield, picked up by Happel. Happel will run out for a throw into FCB. Is. Got quite a massive presence there of Barca youngsters, players who've come through the ranks. Lardes, Busquets, Carreras, Van de la Peña, Roger. They've been joined by Oscar and Moreno. Condro leaves it for. Pescu looking for Moreno. Capel in possession. They switched to the number eight, Zeebelinch. Looking for the one two, comes up with Oren Sagron, Zeebelinch. It's just overhit the cross, he'll run out for a throw in. To Barca, the boy from Letonia there. With a good one too. Probably concerned about how easily the defense was cut open. And all fans smelling blood. Fair to say that Apple Bear Sheva looked much better in this opening 10 minutes. And the offside flag up against Sharon Habitan. Let's move with the match from the home team. Zubelinch just overhitting the cross. It certainly has improved the atmosphere in the Varsamil Stadium. Pescu finds De La Pena. De La Pena lifts it into the hands of Smadja. and a half minutes into the second half. Another substitution, possible substitution being warmed up by Biko Haddad. Long ball upfield. Nicely brought down and played forward Figo. Figo beaten to the ball there by the Ukrainian Talisnenko. Talisnenko on the ball. Combining with Biton, the only player with the yellow card so far. Riff. Out by Carreras. Roger backed up by Oscar. The two brothers lose the ball in midfield. The Lardis. Figo drops off for Van de la Pena. De la Pena with that. Lovely lifted pass. Oscar into the center. No one's there. And he's Figo to La Pena. Good strong challenge, and all fans are enjoying this second half. Calderas. Oh, and 
good play indeed by Telesnenko. 13 minutes gone past the lead in 2 0 in the UEFA Cup first round. Ivanda La Pena finds Codro. Codro gives away the free kick. Iluth once more. The veteran Israeli international brought down by Codro Van de la Pena. Side flag against Codro. Troy Four was the perfectionist. Demanding more. Flanked and the team delegate, physio, assistant coaches. Nadal combined with Pescu. Nadal has taken over the captain's armband from the substituted Jose Maria Paquero. Carreras. Lovely ball there from Moreno into the hands of Smanger. An interception there by Carreras. Roger loses out. Ball brought forward by the number nine, Habitan, out to the wing. Just cut out by Nadal. Certainly, though, Apple Beersheba get much livelier in this second half. De La Pena. Lovely ball there by De La Pena, just stepped on by Oscar. 15 minutes into the second half, no goals added yet. Um, the two, much improved performance by the home team. Moreno now for Barcelona, drags it back. De La Pena, De La Pena over the crossbar. Rico Haddad will be making another substitution. It's a good ball back by Moreno. I'm not sure if uh, Tilapeni was in the best position there. Just beside him, Oscar Garcia. It's Oscar on the ball now. Looking for Moreno. Jesus and Moreno both going for it. Must have come off the Barca player because it'll be a goal kick as the second substitution by the home team is about to be made. Elin Yao comes on for Abidor. performance as I said moments ago by the Israeli team in this second half had their chances boss of course had the penalty Kondro missed Joseph just complaining there about what he saw as an unfair challenge We're still waiting for Kepeles, the referee, to get us underway. Sanchez goal kick met by Carreras. Moreno. Back to Captain Nadal. Gelades. Plays it forward and a uh, hefty challenge. From the number five, Iluth. It'll be a free kick to Barca. It's not been a game littered with fouls. Just 18 as we're over the hour mark. 
Villa Pena. Oh, 3 0 to Barca, and it's Oscar with a fine header. Villa Pena once again showing us what he can do with free kicks. Two players who've come through the ranks together. Villa Pena looks up. Sees the run from Oscar and Oscar with a beautifully guided header. Not been on the pitch long and puts it out of reach of Smadja to establish a 3 0 lead for Football Club Barcelona. As I said in the first half, the final result not in doubt, but can Barca add to those three goals? Plenty of time to do so. Just gets prevents the corner under pressure though. Puts it up for a throw into Apple Bear Sheva. Alinia who playing it in. The tap breaks down the ball brought away by Moreno. To La Peña. Oscar brings in Thelades. That really is a combination there of the Barca youth team coming through as balls picked up by Apple. Riff losing out to Popescu. One of the few older chaps on the field. Moreno. Time for Roger. De La Pena drops off for Oscar. A little back heel there. This would be De La Pena threading it through, and it would have been a beautiful goal. Moreno could have gone the end of that one. Twenty minutes into the second half, Barca leading three 0 in this UEFA Cup first round tie. First round, first leg. Oscar. La Pena, space ahead for Oscar. Drops it off for Luis Figo. Figo, oh, it's in! Goal number four. And a bit of a thunderbolt. Just like Roger's effort in injury time of the first half. Now, Cruyff will be happier. This is what the Barca fans, mostly from the Israeli branch, the Barca fan clubs were after Luis Figo out of nowhere and Smadja can't be faulted. Oscar being alerted to the presence of Figo by De La Pena and right in the corner. Switches to the other end, thwarted and Barca. Oh, you just wonder how many they might add now. Things really opening up for them. Clodo unable to get there. And again, it's a case of wondering whether the lesser experienced players' heads might go down. It's Barca pick up in midfield. has broken down it's captain Nadal moving forward to La Pena again you can see the intention but offside against Moreno moving forward and Bittan's ball picked up by Thelades very cool under pressure from Sagron Apple who've won two leagues in Israel just the second time in Europe 
Oh, what a ball from De La Pena. Now this could be number five, Roger. Yes. Goal number five for Barca. Second one for young Roger. And they're greeted by the other Garcia, Oscar. Luis Figo. This feel. Well, they're all surrounded by the so-called Quinta of De La Pena. De La Pena's gang, in other words. Roger, very cool. Just waited for Smarja to go to ground. So, 4-0 up. It's Ivan De La Pena will be substituted. Tremendous performance, especially in the first half from the boy from Santander. Ferrer takes the field of play. That will probably mean Thelard is moving forward. No problems for Busquets to pick this one up. Over halfway through the second half, also now five to the good. Oh, and a long range effort over the bar from Albert Thelard is taking advantage of his move into midfield. And, uh, Van de la Peña, one of the pearls of the Barca youth system, being interviewed. out for a throw in two for Club Barcelona picked up by Figo Figo unable to get the ball back off Zeeble Lynch and Riff loses out back heel from Thelard is further up the field now it's the introduction of Ferrer. The free kick given for the challenge on Thelades. Popescu. Finally with the boy from St. Paul, Luis Carreras. Thelades brings it down. Luis Figo. Figo's got the beating of Eluf. Just flicked out for a corner. Rico Haddad watching his men not falling apart, but certainly after the opening 10 minutes of the second half, Barca have regained the remote control on this game. Highly respected coach in Israel. He's taken charge of them. Got them to this first round of the UEFA Cup in only the second season of Israel's participation in this tournament. Nadal under pressure, plays it out to the wing. Flicked back by Figo. It's crossed put in towards Codro. Jazif not making a good job of it. Moreno. Oscar. Also moving the ball around with ease and it's gone all the way through. There'll be a goal kick. I'm not sure how much Vico Haddad can do about this now. Also leading 5-0 in Israel. Second leg to be played, of course, at the new camp.
goal kick in favour of Hapel Beersheba. Kilnair is challenging. Sevilla, the other Spanish team in UEFA Cup action. 1 0 up thanks to a strike by Davos Suka. Popescu wins the header. Moreno under pressure. Dances around Ilus. Still Moreno plays it into the centre. It'll be a Barca corner. Going out by the captain, Eli Melic. Five corners in the game for Barca. Five goals. More importantly, in the game for Barca. And the goalkeeper not sure whether to come out. It's picked up by FCB Oscar. Ball lifted into the centre, the header there, but it's wide from Moreno. one of the Barca players who trotted out the lines about not taking this match for granted. Of course, Israel did beat France in Paris. But also this afternoon, this evening rather, never in doubt and uh, Johan Cruyff will be happy with the performance after well, Saturday's draw with Merida. Still time to add to the goal tally. As Moreno receives from Roger. Oscar. It's be a real joy for the Garcia's father. See his two lads playing together. For the first team of football club Barcelona. Barca's throwing. Carreras to take. There's Carreras in for the suspended Sergi. Oh, there's space ahead. As Moreno receives, pulls it back, looking for Codro. Codro takes advantage, or almost took advantage of Jasuf's slip. Ball now with Ilus. Sieber Lynch drops off a reef. Into the last quarter of an hour. Apple Bears, Sheva nil, Barca five. Amilic, Riff. Cut out by recently incorporated Ferrer. Figo. Still Luis Figo. Shot and scored from that area. And breaks down. Sucre's got another one. For Sevilla. It's Moreno wins the ball in midfield. Fairly so, says the referee. Delades out to the far side. Luis Figo. Good ball in, looking for Oscar. Paul just runs away from him, picked up by Smadja. Oscar Garcia, another very promising player from the Barca youth system. Originally from Sabadell. Inland from Barcelona. Sabadell. And Terrassa, big rivals in slightly lower levels of Catalan football. Sabadell known as the Harlequins because of their blue and white quarter top, similar to Blackburn. 
in the derby match, as I said, with the cotton town of Tarasa. Carreras brings in Moreno. Moreno with the cross. Brought down. Oh, and that's the hat trick from Roger. And wasn't that a sweet goal? Another goal made in the Marcia. And that'll bring extra joy to Johan Cruyff. Figo congratulating the youngster Moreno with the cross. And it was Oscar providing his brother with his hat trick. And I was just saying how proud Daddy Garcia will be. Well, that'll be one for the family album. Oscar dropping the ball down. And Roger putting it away. Doesn't get much better in the Garcia household. So it's Happel, Bear, Sheva, Neil Boss has six. And still. 11 minutes to go. Moreno receives. Codro. Codro wouldn't mind getting on the score sheet. Pretty much making the second leg irrelevant, but well, another shot over the crossbar from Habitan and some of the home fans leaving the Sharon Habitan's fan club by the sound of it. Really testing Busquets this evening. Carreras and uh, Moreno is never going to get to that. Into the last 10 minutes, Barca six to the good. Van de la Peña opening after four minutes. Roger, an injury time with the first time making it 2 0. He's since added two more Figo and Oscar. Roger's brother joining him to make it six, and there's another substitution for the home team. On comes and carry. Place in Habitan. I don't know if that's got something to do with Habitan's latest missed effort. This will break up the left hand side. Elimelec on the ball. Switching play. Looking for and finding Reef. Into the center and on offside flag. Vince. Any chance of a consolation goal from Incari? One clearance up field, one for Codro to chase. Moreno picks up. Moreno threads it through, looking for Oscar. Danger not over. Moreno receives again. Play. Continues as the lad is brings in for air. Moreno. Luis Figo combining with Oscar. Oscar. Luis Figo. 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 Oh, and it's number seven. Figo with his second. And you can see the despair on the face of Vico Haddad. He may have dreamed of a draw. But it's goal number seven for Football Club Barcelona in their first official match in Israel. And it was a good one, two, or one, two, three, rather, by Figo and Oscar Garcia. Smadja smashed for the seventh time. Barca, well, you know, they came here expecting to win. And they've done so in fine style. 
seven minutes to go, seven goals to Barca. Well, could there be a consolation? There's not as Ebelinch goes down, battling to get the ball back, but it's Barca coming away with it. A rare poor pass means it'll be a throw in for Happel. Moreno has done some good work on the left wing in this game. struggle to get out their own end and this could be a chance for a free go hat trick but he goes down under pressure oh he tried to think what will happen in the return leg safe to say I think Barca will be going through competition they've never won really firm objective for Johan Cruyff this season obviously also would be preferred to be in the number one competition but the target of adding the UEFA Cup the trophy room very real one Figo unable to control that ball, it goes out, the throw in to be taken by Beaton. Also will also be looking to recover the league title they were beginning to consider. Belong to them. Figo. Codro. Codro. And it's clear by Eluth. Moreno, oh, oh, off the legs of Smadger. Jordi, part of the Barca team from the start. I was in the press today talking about his roots. I didn't uh, know that Cruyff's family had roots in this part of the world. There you go. Corner for Barca. Will they make it eight? Luis Figo to swing it into the hands of Smadger. Oh, with the Barca goalkeeper, Carlos Busquets. Well, on to the stats, Happel Bears. Sheva ever had five attempts at goal, Barca 19. So Barca have missed 12 of those. Apple, of course, have missed 100%, and Busquets has not been troubled. There were the opening eight or nine minutes of this second half where the Israeli team were beginning to threaten. No fans were lifted. Imagine a lot of the Apple fans just wondering if we're going to get any more goals from Football Club Barcelona as that ball's cleared. Picked up by Popescu. Oscar plays it back. Nadal in midfield with the Ladis. The Ladis just pushing it forward. Carreras has got space there. And that's wide. Carreras who's looked good in the left back position. Just under three minutes to go. And you would hope the referee. Wouldn't add too much time on. I'm sure the Apple Beersheva lads looking forward to swapping shirts. Very hot in Beersheva. 12th of September. Come to the end of the summer. We come to the end of. Apple Bear Sheva's participation in this season's UEFA Cup, I would think. Oscar. 
He's the one two with Codro. Flipped on by Roger, the other half of the Garcia brothers, the hat trick scoring Roger Garcia. Wonder if he'll be in the showers after saying to Oscar, Well, you just got one. I've got a lot more than you. Oscar playing the one two with Figo. Loses out under the challenge from Eli Melic. And there'll be a Barca throw, and Eli Melic has stayed down. It could be carrying an injury there. You wouldn't have thought you'd be looking to time waste when we're into the last two minutes of a 7 0 defeat. Apple Bear Sheva, captain. Not getting up. And he will be helped off. And we remain to see whether there'll be any added time. Jazuf. Also doing the job. This ball's played back to the goalkeeper, Busquets. I think it's the home fans who are looking for the final whistle. As Barca look to progress further than they did in last year's European venture. Of course, Barca going out in the quarterfinals to Paris Saint-Germain, but we won't dwell on that as Barca look to win their first UEFA Cup. A solid start here in Israel. Seven goals. Great show by Ivan de la Pena's gang. If you look at the field now, the field of play that is, it's a very young and a very promising team led by Johan Cruyff. The outside flag going up there. I think it will have to be taken well further back, said the Greek referee, but a real point on his system, Codro, and he's just overrun the ball. Chance to make it eight. Minute into injury time in Beersheba. There's a great future ahead for these lads. Ferrer, Carreras, Roger Oscar, Roger Garcia. Pelades, Moreno. Kefales <laughs> must be close to blowing a full time whistle, you would have thought, but will Barca get an eight? Codro combining with Oscar. Oscar goes to ground. No free kick given, Reef brings it away only as far as the Barca captain, Popescu, took over the armband from Baquero, Moreno. Drops the ball off for Roger, hat-trick hero. Ball back to the Barca captain. And there is the final whistle, fine performance in the opening leg of the first round of Barca's UEFA Cup campaign. Johan Cruyff, no doubt, will be happy with that. And the home fans give the Barca youth team almost standing ovation. We'll be back for the second leg. So, Johan Cruyff, a happy chappy. Thanks for being with us. Bye for now.